All right, we're just gonna dive right in. Guys, I am like so excited. I just got off with my own PS uh, coaches and just feeling pumped for this new year. Um, I was telling them, you know, I set goals and I failed and I set goals and I achieved them. And um, my big scary goals, no, I didn't meet this year and that's okay. But I'm so ready for this new year. I have been doing so much personal development um, and just really diving into my why in the last, this last month and really focusing on what I want in this business. And so we're, that's exactly what we're going to talk about tonight is those little things that we need to be doing to make sure that we crush this year, that we become an elite team together because no one can do this alone. Um, you know, to be an elite team in 2017, it takes every single one of us coming together, one team, one dream, right? And so um, that's what we're going to be talking about. Before we dive in, just a huge shout out um, to those who are on the board with Success Club already. Um, you know, there's still time, guys, with this new challenge pack. Remember, you get three points if they get a um, challenge pack, the all-access pass. And guys, this is huge. When I, anyone that was on the fence um, or was committed to getting a challenge pack, I messaged those people and said, hey, for 60 bucks more, you get literally every single Beachbody program ever created um, by Beachbody and anything that will be released in 2017. And when you do the numbers, guys, it's less than 10 bucks a month. Guys, you are paying way more than that for a gym membership, right? Like, and they don't get individualized classes, they don't get a nutritionist, they don't get all those things that they're gonna get with the challenge pack and meal plan, um, everything that they're gonna get um, with this all access pass. So realize that you are literally, I mean like people always say, oh, plan fitness is 10 bucks. Well, that's not including the maintenance fee, that's not including classes, that's not including anything else. And so this is, this is just a huge talking point um, to be able to mention to people. Um, that they're going to get the meal plan, portion control containers, everything. Um, realize that if that is a three-point challenge pack, um, but the system won't allow them to do three points. They can only do two points. So if you do have that, you might be missing a point until next Tuesday. It'll be uploaded. The extra point will be added on Tuesdays. So realize that. And then Super Saturday, guys, huge. Um, Make sure you look up your event location. Um, those in Utah, I know Salt Lake is going to be hosting one. Um, but lots of breaking news announcements. I was actually looking at the FAQ on Success Club Trip 2018, and it does say that it will be released at Super Saturday. So, like the destination. So that alone for me is like I'm going to like be excited to go. But lots of training, a good way to network with other coaches in your area and get to really know people on our team. I'm um, outside of Zoom chat. Um, so make sure that is on your calendar as well. Um, and then if you have signed up a brand new coach this month, or if you have coaches that are just getting back into the business, if they are ready to hop in January, um, those coaches, we will start be starting a coach basics on January 2nd. So we'll get all those brand new coaches in a group chat to make sure that they are reaching their goals. Um, they are staying on track. They our support system with, one another, with all the brand new coaches. So um, realize that as well. Um, and then, sorry. And make sure everyone's muted. I was just going to go and I can't figure out how to do it right now. That's why I'm all close to my computer. But, um, but yeah, so Super Saturday and um, Coach Basics will be starting. And then we'll talk about the other dates at the end of the call because you should have your calendar, and we're going to go through all of the big details that you need to know for the whole year, so you know exactly when to be inviting people to what and what's going on. So, if Breezy's here, I'm just going to let her take it over. If Yes, I'm here. Okay. It's all you. Hey, awesome. Thanks, Ashley. So, I'm, <clears throat> I'm up at the cabin, so I told Ashley, like, I feel like I need to hop off and go spend time with my family after I get done. So, I'm going to miss your guys' calendar planning session, but um, stay on because Ashley has some awesome information, um, and she's really going to help you guys kick your year off right. So, um, just, to, just to start us off on this call, this is the Rock Your Resolutions call, 
And for me, whenever I think of New Year's resolutions, I think of, you know, all the things I want to change, maybe the things I didn't do last year that I want to get done this year. Um, and, you know, becoming a better person, becoming a better business person, becoming a better wife, a better mom, a better friend. Like, I feel like at the beginning of the year, it's, it's like this clean, fresh slate and you get really excited because you kind of see potential and you see the person that you can become. And, um, it's kind of an exciting time. And it's always the time, you know, that I redo my dream board. I think about my business goals and all these different goals. And I've done this, you know, for quite a long time, but there's something that has been missing and there's something that I hasn't really clicked until the last couple of years. And even in the last couple of years, I have really failed at what I'm going to talk to you about. And I am sharing this information with you guys because I don't want you to fail the way that I failed. I want you guys to succeed and reach those goals um, and get as close as you can or to surpass those goals that you set for yourself. So the last couple of years, uh, if, if those of you don't know that don't know, I've been coaching for um, just three and a half years. And, you know, I've been an elite coach two years in a row. Um, I've, you know, built this amazing team that I just love. And you guys are my family. And for, I wanted to show you guys that 15 star diamonds possible but for those new coaches. 15 star diamond is like, it's, um, the highest rank that you can reach in one business center. So I set that goal for myself because of course I want to be the best. And I want you guys to see that you can be the best. And that if a small town girl from Idaho can do it, then you sure get sure as heck can do it. So I set my sights on this goal and I haven't reached that goal. I've set it for the past two years and it really didn't dawn on me until the last few months, probably the last six or seven months of why I wasn't making progress towards this goal. And that's kind of what I want to talk to you guys about tonight is the most important steps that I missed in reaching my big goals. Now I've accomplished goals. I've, you know, I've done great things. I've, I've had tons of growth as a person. Um, but I feel like if there's a few more things that I could be doing and that, those are the things I'm really going to focus on this year. So in this year, instead of focusing on, um, you know, these big shiny goals that I have in front of me, which I still have those big shiny goals, but my focus this year is going to be on the small action steps that are going to get me to those big shiny goals. So instead of setting a New Year's resolution that I want to be a 15 star diamond coach, yes, 15 star diamond is still on my dream board, but what my resolutions look like, my, um, you know, my focus, it's completely different. Um, for those of you that read the compound effect, my year is largely going to be based on the compound effect, the small and simple things that are going to get me to the big end result of where I want to be in my business, of where I want to be spiritually, where I want to be mentally in my relationship. I'm focusing on the small things that are going to get me to those big end goals. So I am going to talk to you about those daily action steps that I'm going to be taking. And I'm going to encourage you guys to find whatever those small action steps are that are going to get you to your big goals. Focus on those as you're setting your resolutions. So um, let's see. I took a few notes here. I just want to make sure that I hit everything. Um, so. I'm going to talk to you about how you can take daily action about or to get towards those goals. So daily action. And those really are the two key words, daily action. What I was missing in my journey to 15 star diamond, I wasn't take, I wasn't doing steps daily that would get me there. I wasn't taking action enough doing those things that would get me there. So the first thing that I want to talk to you about is that I'm going to be focusing on. I'm kind of sharing three of my resolutions um, with you guys. So the first one, you are your business. What do I mean? So in order to be a great coach, I have to take care of myself first. And sometimes that might sound backwards. Sometimes it's hard. I know for me as a mom to take care of myself first. I always want to put my kids first. But I've learned that it, if I don't take care of myself first, I can't be a good mom. 
So just a little experience I had recently, I really struggled with um, postpartum depression after this last baby I had. The, my little baby girl here just, um, just three months ago, just over three months ago. And I literally was having panic attacks and these huge anxiety attacks. And I just, I couldn't figure out what was happening with me. And it was really a scary time. And I literally wasn't getting out of bed. I wasn't showering. It was like, it was terrible. Like it was the hardest thing I've ever went through. And I wasn't being the, a good mom. I felt like I was failing as a mom. And finally Matt said, he's like, you have to get out of bed. You have to shower, come downstairs, you know, walk, do something for you. He's like, let me take the baby, do something that's going to make you feel good. Put some makeup on. And so that really, when I started doing that, it was amazing how much better I felt about myself how much more progress I was able to make as a mom and um, get through that hard time. So that is just, I mean, that alone just kind of shows you that, or it showed me that it was really important to take care of myself. So my number one focus for this year is going to be taking care of myself and how I'm going to be doing that. For those of you that have read um, the miracle morning, I'm going to be focusing on my miracle mornings because I know that if I can do my miracle morning, which does include exercise, which is also one of our vital behaviors as coaches, um, and it also includes personal development. So I'm knocking out two vital behaviors in my miracle morning. I'm doing spiritual development and I'm growing myself. So I am focusing on miracle mornings and I'm going to read you this quote <clears throat> out of this book. This, it's called, I am that girl another great book. So there's two book recommendations there, Miracle Morning and I Am That Girl. Um, she says, when we are healthy, happy, vibrant, fit, complete, then and only then do we have everything to offer those around us. When we are full to the brim with unconditional love for ourselves, then we can pour out our love, support, inspiration, and focus on the other people in our life. But if you're not charged up or when you're broken down to the side of the road, how in the world are you going to give another car a jump start? You can't. I love that. Like I was like, when I read that, I was like, ah, oh, like you can't, like if your battery's dead, you can't jumpstart someone else. And I feel like so often in my business as a coach, I've been trying to do that. I've been, you know, struggling along myself and I've been trying to lift other people and it gets, it drains you even more. So I just want to remind you guys how important it is to, um, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, you guys, I've been at my lowest and coaching has pulled me through those times because of the support group and the community, but just know it's so much easier to be successful as a coach when you are having success personally, growing yourself and doing these miracle mornings, doing your workouts, um, and getting that confidence. So, um, the second one I want to talk to you about, oh, actually I have one more quote I want to share about that. This one is from Grant Cardone. Um, another book recommendation that I'm going to talk about is the 10 X rule and Grant Cardone. This is what he says. He says, your greatness is limited only by the investment you make in yourself. I'm going to say that again. Your greatness is limited only by the investment you make in yourself. I heard successful people say over and over again that you're only as successful as the time you're willing to put into yourself. Like, you know, 90% of success is you like the investment you put in yourself personal development and growing yourself so make sure that you're doing that because that is one of those little daily actions even 10 pages a day and that's gonna make you guys um more successful so the second thing i want to talk to you guys about is taking action towards your goals and action is the key word and the 10x rule is the book that i would recommend for this one but the action step that so many coaches miss and so many people miss is power hours. And the reason the action is linked directly to power hours is because when you're doing power hours, you're actually doing the action steps, the inviting that's going to get you to reach your, co your coaching goals. So for me, uh, like I said, number one, I'm focusing on myself. And number two, I'm taking action by focusing on my daily power hours hours. And for me, I'm doing Ashley's three power hour system. Um, but I have a goal of at least 15 power hours a week. I literally have it on my new planner. I have my power hours and every time I do a power hour, I'm going to check. And my goal is to get 15 checks a week. So that is the action step that I'm going to take 
to build my business. Um, and I'm going to focus on that. Um, and then I want to give you another quote by Grant Cardone. He says, no one is going to come to your house and make your dreams come true. Like, hello, right? So whatever big goal you have, whether it's business related or it's fitness related, which fitness is your business in this case, or it's spiritual related or it's with your family, whatever it is, no one is going to do that for you. No one's going to take the action to, you know, lose 20 pounds for you. No one's going to take the action to invite a hundred people for you. No one's going to take the action to build yourself a 15 star diamond team, a diamond team, whatever your goal is this year, nobody's going to take the action for you. It's you, it's up to you. It's your business. Um, so you're responsible for the action that you take daily. And that action, that daily action comes down to those power hours. So like I said, for me, my goal is 15 power hours a week. And I'm going to, if that's not enough, I'm going to kind of gauge it the first little bit. If that's not enough, I'm going to up that because it's all about taking action um, when it comes to making that progress towards your goals. Okay, the third one, the third and final one that I'm focusing on is no excuses. And this is one of those tiny little things that we don't really think about but creeps in so easily and completely takes over and ruins whatever resolutions we have made. So think about all the excuses that come to mind, whether it's um, you know sabotaging your fitness goals, it's gonna sabotage your business goals. Time, I don't have the time to work out. I don't have the time to send out two invites today. I don't have the time to uh, put together a free group. I don't have the time to post on social media. Guys, we all have the same amount of hours in the day. We're all busy, busy people. Time is just an excuse. The next one is fear. Fear of failure. Fear of people telling you no. Fear of failing. Fear of, you know, not reaching your weight loss goal. Fear of, you know, I don't even know. There's so many fears that can overtake us and just give us anxiety. But you guys, fear is just an excuse. You literally, you're going to live with fear in some form your whole life. And one of the best books I've read, I think it was from the, I think it was the big leap that he talks about just facing your fear and like, or maybe it was the confidence gap. I think it was the confidence gap, but, um, he talks about how, um, you just live with fear. You live with fear and you confront it and you do it anyway. Like you that quote, feel the fear and you do it anyway. That's what it is. It's just recognizing it, recognizing its presence, and then working through it. Um, the other one is lack of belief. I'll never be a successful coach. Or, oh, only Breezy and Ashley can be successful coaches. I am not, I am never going to be like that. Or I don't want to be like that because you don't have that belief in yourself. You need to establish that belief and acknowledge that that's just an excuse for you not to do the actions or for you not to be successful. It's just an excuse. So, um, no excuses. And I have a, I have a quote from this. I am that girl on that. It's a really good book. I'm actually not even done with this book. I'm still reading it, but I have lots of highlights in it. Okay. All right. Making excuses instead of putting yourself in your dreams first only leads to a life of mediocrity and regret. And you don't deserve that. Nobody does. But to stop the excuses, it's going to take getting hardcore and figuring out exactly what you want. Goal setting, right? That's what we're doing. So push yourself, push yourself to ignore all those excuses that pop into your head and accept the truth that you are the master of your ship, author of your life, and that your adventure is only as awesome as you imagine it. Once you stop talking yourself out of doing what you really want, you'll find the shiniest version of you and experience a sense of accomplishment that rivals any accolades. So um, I just want to leave you guys with that. Um, I'm excited for this year. I am ready to, uh, you know, work on myself. I'm ready to take action towards these goals. I'm ready to push all my excuses aside and just go for it. And I invite you guys and encourage you guys to do the same. And um, I am going to go ahead and log off and turn it over to Ashley to share what she's going to do and help you guys um, set yourself up for success this year. So have a good night. Thanks, Breezy. 
Okay, guys, I am like way, like I said, I am just so excited for this new year. Um, you know, exactly what Breezy said, it's all about taking action. And I'm kind of glad she's logging off because I have um, a little thing I want to share with you and not seeing her face will make it a little bit easier not to cry through it. So um, let me share my screen real fast with you. And um, because I have been doing a lot of Sorry, I'm moving things around. Obviously, I can't do this and talk at the same time. Um, I have been doing a lot of personal development this month and really trying to dial in on my why and my purpose and the joy of this business and everything that that entails. And so um, as I have been thinking about this, I've been trying to decide where I failed as a person, as a leader, as a friend, a sister, a mom, you know, all those things that, that we we're down on ourselves about. So as I've been thinking about this, um, I think for me, one of the things is, is I love this business. It is the reason why I get up. I mean, not the reason I have a family and that is really the reason, but I have a spring in my step now where I lacked that for so long because I was going through depression and, and anxiety attacks and everything else that goes along with it. And I was just struggling. And um, that's what I kind of want to talk to you guys about is we wanted to come up with a um, motto for our tribe this year and, and really focusing in on what we're doing and finding the joy and the happiness that this business allows us to have in our lives and the happiness it allows for others in their lives. So one of the things that we had really talked about and um, as leaders on the team is just really finding the one. And I love the quote, um, and I'm gonna just share my screen because I realized I just didn't share it, um, by Mother Teresa. And um, she says, never worry about numbers. Help one person at a time and always start with the person nearest you. And that's really what this business is about. Stop focusing on success club. Yes, that is something you have to do in order to be a full-time business earner, okay? If you want that, you have to do that. But if you stop focusing on the per or on the number and really on the person and finding that one person, you're going to find that joy and the happiness and the reason why you're getting up out of bed. And you know, and I think in the long run, it, it helps you increase your success club numbers because your heart is there and people see through the salesperson and see the inside of your heart. And so I want to tell you, and some of you guys have heard this story, and I just want to share this with you as we talk here. Um, and I'm just going to make this big. Um, except now I can't see you right in the chat box. I always forget that. I'm just going to go like this. Okay, so some of you guys have heard my story, and I'm sorry if you heard it. I'm just going to tell a brief synopsis of it. And um, but as I do this, this is before Beachbody. Every single one of these pictures is before Beachbody, and this is Breezy and I before Beachbody started. And you can see the difference um, in us. And and I want you guys just to see that because when Breezy approached me. I was at an ultimate low in my life. I have never struggled so much in my entire life as I did the months leading up to uh, Breezy contacting me about Beachbody. Um, I had at this time gone through, let's see, I had one boy, so I had had three miscarriages, had just had my fourth um, miscarriage, and I did have my little boy, but I was super, um, I had mixed emotions because I was teaching the classroom. My husband was in school um, and he had just graduated and couldn't find a job that was willing to like take to accept the offer. It, you know, he's working at the local grocery store and he was being offered stuff that, you know, wasn't a degree base. It was going to be the same pay or whatever. And it was super frustrating. Um, I wanted to be a stay at home mom or, um, 
my whole life. That's all I want to do. You know, I always thought, you know, in your dreams that the mom stayed home and the dad went to work. That's what it was. And I wanted that for my family and it wasn't happening. It, kids wasn't happening for us. Yes, we had one, but it was lots of heartache. I never allowed myself to get attached to my son because in my mind, I was always going to lose him anyways. Um, even after I had him, I knew I was going back to work. So I never allowed myself to bond with him um, at the beginning because I knew I had to give him up to a babysitter. And it crushed me. And um, I had just had my uh, miscarriage after the son and trying to figure out where, where to go and and Breezy had reached out to me. Well, I had actually reached out to her first, wondering about tests, because you all know that Breezy and I have that similarity and um, that common ground, and that's really how we really started talking to each other is through those miscarriages. And um, anyway, she had reached out to me, and I said, no, like, no way. I have failed at so many things. I have failed at, you know, every diet I've tried. I failed at having kids, for heaven's sakes. I failed at, you know, all this stuff, like there's nothing, I can't handle one more failure. I just can't do it. And Breezy said, okay, cool. Like no big deal. But Breezy never dropped me. She never got a no and left me behind. She kept talking to me and she didn't talk to me about Beachbody every single day. She talked to me as a person. She talked to me about what my goals were, what my struggles were, how she could help me. Um, she mentioned challenge groups sometimes, but I told her no several times. And she was someone who kept going and was trying to find the one. And if she was on the call, she would tell you her end of the story is my name kept coming up in her head. She knew that it was someone that she needed to connect with. She knew that it was someone that she needed to talk to, beach body or not. She knew it was someone that she needed to reach out to and find the one. And she'll tell you about that. It was just a prompting in her head that told her to reach out to me. But that's what this business is about. This isn't about a challenge pack and it's not about a sale. It's about the person and the life of this story. And I love these pictures. I hate them, but I love them because you see my smile. And this is what I want you to notice in these. You can see how forced of a smile it was, how unhappy I was on the inside, that I was literally falling apart from the inside out. And it wasn't just because I was overweight. It was because I had no self-esteem. I had depression. I had a hard time getting out of bed and being motivated. And I was, I was at an ultimate low. And um, once I finally said yes to Breezy, I was still hesitant because I didn't want to fail. And I said, if I'm going to spend this money, like I can't not do this. And I was literally her only one in the challenge group. There was probably six, seven, eight girls. I don't even know. But I was the only one who posted in that challenge group. So we all have ran challenge groups that have failed miserably had no interaction but you know what you found the one in that group the one that really really needed you the other ones you don't give up hope you keep reaching out to them and their timing might be the next month or the next month but she found the one and you know in those 60 days I love seeing a girl who had the four smile to a girl that has a confident smile in her face. A girl that was able to look at a camera and not bawl when her husband was taking this picture, but to a girl that was proud of what she had accomplished from the inside out, not the outside in. And that's what we're talking about when we're talking about finding the one. And that's what we're doing every day in our business is we are looking for that one person to change their life so that they too remember what it was like to laugh again, to have joy, to be excited about life because that's at the point I was in. And you look at this and look at the transition. Here I am now. And you see the difference in this person and the girl that is loving life who gets out of bed excited for the day do I have rough days absolutely do I have days I don't want to work out almost every day I am not perfect I struggle with the same things you guys struggle with I struggle with self-doubt I like to work out first thing in the morning because the longer I wait the more I talk myself out of it and the more doubt I put into my mind I have to overcome these obstacles every day but you look at this girl who now smiles to a girl that had this forced fake smile because I was so unhappy on the inside out. Not to mention how much the weight and everything else 
put on my self-esteem and all, you know, everything else I was, was dealing with. And so that's what I want you guys to really focus on. And so when you're finding the one, this is really what we want to do. We want to be able to find that one person and you know, after you find that one for the month, find the next, find the next. Because you have to hit success club to make this business work, okay? I'm not just going to say you can only find one, but I'm telling you right now, you know, I told my coaches, I don't care if you get on success club every, you know, every month, one person, find one person every single month, help your coaches find one person every single month and keep doing it over and over and over again. Um, and so you know, Breezy said, you know, take action. And this is what I love, find. That is the action. And that's what we want to do. So everything we do this year is going to focus on finding the one and taking those action steps. So, um, so realize that this is where the find the one came from. And again, you know, I have that in the next quote, is that Mother Teresa quote, but it's not about the numbers. It's not about success club. We emphasize success club because that means you have helped change lives. And that's why we emphasize it. And that's why, you know, sometimes it's like, oh, I feel like a failure. I didn't hit success club. Well, you know what? You still help someone in your free group. You still help someone. There's so many things you guys are doing, you know, behind the scenes of success club, you know, but there has to be something that is on your bucket list if you want a full-time income, okay? Everyone has different goals in this business. but this is what it's about, guys. This is why we get up every single day is to find that one. Guys, I had been praying for so long for anyone who believes in God out there. I can tell you 100% assurity the reason why my name popped into Breezy's head because I was praying so hard to find an answer for what I was dealing with, to find one person in my life who understood what I was going through because my sisters hadn't gone through it. No close family member. I hadn't talked to anyone about it. I was so closed off. I was just, you know, fervently praying for something, for someone to understand what I was going through that I could just relate to. And Breezy was the one for me. And you guys have been that one for so many other people. And so that's what we want to focus on. So when you post, this is what we want to use is find the one. And so as a tribe, we can say, look what we have accomplished. You know, um, it, it's amazing. You know, write down, keep a little journal of the little stories of the one. So every time you hit success club or one point or two points, write a little thing in your journal, you know, like your planner, the one I have has a little, you know, most planners have a little notes, you know, for the month where it has like a blank page, write a little synopsis of that person, you know, so you remember that that success club point was tied to a person and that success club is a life that you just changed, that you changed the way their story is going to end because of you. And so, um, I just, I really, really, like love this theme and and so we you're gonna hear us talk about it all the time this year is finding the one and so you know we have to take action and we've got to find that one so what we want to do the rest of this time is I want you guys to pull out your planners your calendars whatever you use so we can lay out the year for you so you can be a hundred percent ready to run, you know what you're inviting to, you know what's coming up with Super Saturday, win Summit, so you can get the time off work now, find babysitters, and make those goals to be there, to be there at Summit, to grow your business more, and um, you know, to be at Super Saturday. So we're going to go over these important dates throughout the year so everyone is aware um, of what is going on. So... We're going to start with mark your calendars for Super Saturday. Let's start with January 7th. I want you to write Super Saturday down for January 7th, April 8th, and September 23rd. These are your Super Saturdays. So put them now so when you're scheduling kids' events and everything else in our busy, busy, crazy lives, you know what you can and can't schedule that day. Because I'm guilty of that myself. And, um, you know, and if it's a Saturday that your husband might work, see if he can work a different Saturday. If, you know, sometimes it's not possible. I get it. Um, you know, but that way you have that option. So make sure you get that down. Summit. 
July 13th through the 16th of this year. Remember, that's in New Orleans. For you new coaches, if you hit Success Club your first three months of your business, you will earn a free ticket to get to Summit. You don't have to pay for a ticket to get to Summit. So put that on your calendar. And the SE trip for this year is April 23rd to the 27th or the 27th through May 1st, depending on what track you're on. That doesn't apply to everyone. Um, if you're a new coach, don't even worry about that for this year. Um, and stuff like that. And I have like snot coming out from crying. Sorry guys. But, um, so mark that up. We'll have these available to you as well. Um, but, and let's start marking the counter. So what is coaching groups? These are groups for the entire year that we're going to, as a tribe, run what is coaching groups. Now, if you want to run your own, we're not telling you how to run your business, but this is a group that you always know that you can invite to. So this month is going to be January 16th, okay? There's most of the time, they're going to fall the second Monday or the third Monday, third Monday of the month, but like the week of Summit, we're going to run a, that what is coaching group so people can see the coaching life of Summit and stuff like that. So there's a couple dates that are a little bit different. So mark it up. I'll leave this on here for you to write and go through all the dates. Um, so you guys have them. But this is your opportunity to say, hey, you know, when you're inviting to coaching or someone approaches you, you can say, you know, we have a what is coaching group starting on the 16th, you know, and you can start posting about your what is coaching group starting on the 16th. February 20th and um, this doesn't mean that you can't run other ones if you want to combine with another coach and do a one-hour blitz or whatever you know but this is something we're doing tribe-wide so you and your coaches your brand new coaches always know what they can invite to so I'll give you a couple minutes here to write that down take action okay and I already wrote mine. That's why I'm not writing, guys. Don't think I'm not writing. <laughs> I'll give you just now. I'm kind of scrolling through faces here to see who's still writing. Looks like we got some writers still writing. And it'll also be on a calendar that we'll have at the pin post at the top of the month. <clears throat> which, speaking of which, we forgot to mention that. If I forget to talk about the pin post before the end of the call, someone remind me. I don't think we talked about that. Okay. So, the reason why we run the What is Coaching group, the third Monday typically, Christmas, like the week of December, where it's going to be earlier that month and stuff. Um, sorry. And um, so the reason why we do the third Monday is because that gives them a week to go through like the what is coaching group. And then this first Monday of the month, it gives them time to sign up, to take a breath, to, you know, get everything in order. So because the second Monday of the month is usually when we're going to start coach basics. And so these are the Coach Basics start group dates. And Coach Basics is a work at your own pace, so if people want to go faster, they can. But we put every single brand new coach in the tribe in a group chat. So they can find success partners, people who are working the business at the same pace as them. They can find, um, you know, just motivation. They can ask questions in this group chat. So um, they know they're not alone because how I mean we those who've been coaching know we get the same questions on the chai page all the time because the newer coaches have it or the old coaches forget or whatever it is so this is like a safe environment for them to say like what is success club again tell me what this is like what do I need to do um you know and so it, it's a good way for them to say hey I want to run a free group does anyone want to like do it you know run a free group with me or a 60-day group or 30-day group does anyone want to, to team up and do it together it's a safe environment for all the brand spanking new coaches to get in a group chat, get to know one another, you know, because sometimes you're like, I'm alone, you know, I, I joined two years ago or a year ago, and these are girls I'm used to talking to. So that way they have that 
that base of girls or boys to chat and interact with. So these are all the coach basics dates for the entire year. Um, so you have that. I'll give you just a second to write these dates down. And I know some people will be doing their own and it's perfectly fine if you want to do your own, but this is just, you know, that option for them to, to either run at the same time as the rest of the time and do your own or combine. But you know, what's nice about having it in your calendar now is you can tell your brand new coaches, you know, they don't have to come up with the coach basics to know what to do. You, a diamond or a star diamond will always be in that group to make sure it's organized, put together. So you're not like, I don't know how to get my new coach started off. Right? Like I'm a brand new coach myself. Um, you know, so it's just duplicatable. You don't have to stress about it. You'll be in the group chat with your new coach so you can answer those questions and be there for them. Uh, but there'll be a diamond or some kind of diamond or star diamond in that group to make sure that the questions that you might not know will be answered as well. So, um, okay, I'm going to move on. Like I said, we'll have these available for you, but we want to make sure you guys get them written now. Um, so, on your calendar right now, okay, instead of putting, and this is what I did, let me show you real fast, my little calendar for my PS coaches. Instead of putting your success club date, I want you to put find the one goal. How many people on the fifth, by the 15th of each month are you gonna find? Are you gonna find two people, three people by the 15th? Find the one, okay, and by the end of the month, what are your find the ones? So I want you for the first three months, January, February, March, for right now, and you can continue. You know, maybe it's five, then you realize, oh, I can hit five, I can hit 10 pretty easily, so then you up it. But for the first three months of January, February, March, on the 15th and the last day of the month, I want you to put find the one goal. What is your find the one? Are you gonna find one person, two people, three people, four people, five people? What is your goal that you're gonna get into a paid challenge group? Um, so write those on the 15th of the month and the last day of the month. <clears throat> and sorry, this is really small. While you write, I'll make this a little bit bigger. Maybe. Okay, so how many will you find? And remember, if you want to hit success club, it's three people to get a challenge pack or because the all access challenge pack is three points this month, it would be two people if they buy the all access challenge pack. Okay, so make sure if you're someone, you remember if you want to hit if you want a full-time income, you've got to hit success club, which would be three people a minimum a month, five people if you want a full-time income sooner. Okay. So for January, February, March, and then you can continue that, you know, as you get out, you know, let's say 10 is now your new goal instead of five people, you know, success club 10 is your goal. You can, you can change that. But, um, and then the other thing I want you to write for the first three months, because you're gonna commit now, is your free group, what Monday? I personally run it the first or second. I'm doing it the second of January just because of the health bet and everything. I've gotta get, the, everything's just been new year. So I'm running it the second group. Everything else will be around the first um, Monday of the month. You don't have to do that same schedule, but if you wanna follow my same schedule, that's what works for me and that's what works best. I like beginning of the month because it gives me the entire month to just talk to people. Um, the new people that are added, you know, from networking into the free groups, I gives me a whole month to just sit and talk to people before I invite people to challenge groups. So it's not like I am a salesperson. I'm a person talking to another person. And then the paid groups. I always run my paid group the last Monday of the month, except for January. I will start my February, the last Monday of the month, but the health bet starts on the night. Okay. But realize that your coach has one starting. I know Breezy usually does hers the last Monday of the month too. 
So if your diamond coach isn't doing one for whatever reason, which I doubt there's any diamond coaches that aren't doing a paid group, um, your star diamond coach, which is either me, Breezy, or Chantel, has one that you can add to whoever is your star diamond coach. So if you are a brand new coach and you're like, I can't run a challenge group, I don't even know what I'm doing, realize the last Monday of the month is when a star diamond, but talk to your coach and say, hey, can I co-coach with you, you know, the first time you do it. But that's when I do it is the last Monday of the month. So it gives me the first couple weeks to hit success club, all that kind of stuff, and they're ready to go that um, first Monday of, or last Monday of the month. So mark your calendars for that. Um, and then there's something else I was going to say. I totally forgot. It was up here somewhere. Um, I don't know. But it was. Yeah. Um, are you going to say anything about the power hours? Are we going to set out the times or anything? Yes, that's the pin post. That's what I need you, Alma. See, Alma keeps me on my toes, guys. Um, so now that we have this set up, one of the things we really want to emphasize is the action part. And so this month, we're really going to focus on power hours. Now, Breezy said hers is 15 power hours a week, okay? She wants a full-time. She has a full-time income with that um, there. So realize that. Let me stop sharing because messages are coming up. If I can stop sharing. Okay, so if you are, you have to do, if you are building a business at all, you've got to devote at least one hour a day. And it's not about quantity, but it's about quality, what you do during that one hour. And I'll tell you, if you're only working an hour a day, it's got to be pure inviting and pure talking to people. So forming with people, building relationships with people, um, inviting people to paid groups, free groups, coaching, but just talking to people over that hour, okay? That's got to be what you do during that hour. Um, I have available to you and I will put it in the pin post um, my three hour power hours that I do my mornings always spent talking to people my afternoons mastering my to-do list of things to do and then my night one is to check in and get ready for the next day so I know exactly who I'm gonna be talking to first thing in the morning so when that alarm clock goes off I'm up and ready to go so I meant to talk to some other girls about this but Power hour times. What we're thinking is doing a morning power hour and a night power hour. Now, you are not required to get on these, but I am committing, and this is what I, I will do a poll because I will either, depending on what you guys want to do, work out or do my power hour first, depending on what works for most people. But I will gear up the morning power hour. I will be there because I'm committing myself. That is one of my resolutions to be on a morning power hour live. So we will all hop on and um, someone can share their screen if they want and one of the coaches can just share and you can so if you're confused what you should be doing you can see another coach power hour and doing what they're what they're doing. Um, you know it's not a time that we get in talk we literally just are going. We set the, the alarm for an hour and once it's done you, people don't even say goodbye they just hop off after their hours over after they set their, their timer. But the live power has been amazing for those who need the accountability. And I will tell you, the beginning of the year, my PS coaches were all hopping on and we were Zooming as a team. Like we were on fire. My girls were hitting like crazy numbers on Success Club. And I started slacking and I'm their leader. So they started not hopping on because I wasn't there. And so for me personally, I saw what it did to my business and with my girls businesses and my boys businesses and so um we can take a poll I will head up the six o'clock the six I'm talking mountain standard time because that's what I'm on if people are eastern time and want to do it at a different time that's fine but I will either do a six o'clock in the morning or a seven o'clock in the morning mountain standard time so whatever you guys want to do there I'll take a poll for those two and then I think we were talking about doing like a seven o'clock 
power hour or like an eight o'clock after kids kind of are in bed kind of, or, or not. And there'll probably be another coach that maybe heads up that one is on more, but then that way you have two power hours or maybe it's a lunch one. It might've been a nap time, like power, or we can do th even three, like a, if people want to do the, you know, the, the 6 a.m., 12 o'clock, you know, or 1 o'clock and 8 o'clock or whatever it is. So we will choose three hours maybe. Um, maybe we'll just take, take, take a poll in the chai page of uh, Mountain Standard Time because I know most of us are Mountain Standard. I know some are Eastern and everything else, and, you know, we, we can make it work with, with whatever. But um, we will get a poll, and what we're going to do is we're going to have a pinned post at the very top of the try page. So when you complete your power hour, you can just like put power hour completed. So every time you do a power hour to keep you held accountable, at the pin post, you'll see the power hour like graphic with the, with the example of like my power hour that I do that you can adjust however you want. But every time you do your power hour, you're just gonna say power hour, you know, and just, just say I did it. So that you can get recognized, you can say hey, I just did five power hours this week, or I just did 10 power hours, and you can be recognized for those activities that maybe you didn't hit success club this week, but you know what? You're doing the, the action part to get you to success club, and so we want to be able to recognize those people, and so be proud. If you do three power hours, get on that pin post and say power hour, power hour, power hour every time you do it. If you're having a fiery day and you go five hours, do it, you know? Um, but that's what we're going to have for the pin post starting in January. We really, really, really want you guys to focus on your power hour. So any questions about anything this year? Um, anything that we can help you guys with? Okay. I am seriously pumped about this guys. Like, I am like, guys, I don't care what happened last year. Breezy did a video last year that said that, you know, like we have 365 days. You have 365 days. And what you do with them is in your hands. We all have the exact same 365 days. So what you do with your life, your business, your goals, your personal life, your emotional, spiritual, all that health is in your hands. And no one can take that from you. You're the only one who gets to decide what you do with those 365 days from January 1st until the 31st of next year. So crush it. Like take it into your hands and decide what you're going to do, whatever your goals are. Because you are so, so capable of it. If I can do it, anyone can do this. So have a wonderful night. Don't forget team calls are always going to be Thursday night at 830 for you newer coaches. So have a wonderful night, guys.